Yo, Vesanta here, and this is going to be a Loop Hero video, and uh, this is going to be the uh, first time I beat Lich, Chapter 1, and, and, it only took me two tries. The first try was like, just swimming out of the water, I did get decently far for some reason, um, I guess I got used to. I, I like really like strategy games, so um, as I was reading, I was trying to understand the instructions of what they're trying to tell me. So this is going to be a reaction as well, and I'm going to chime in. Um, it's gonna. This video is actually 2x speed of the stream, and if you notice on top, it's already running at 2x speed uh, regular in game, and for some reason here, on the left side, I put the treasury for some reason and then I don't even use that at all but on the right, top right side there is the mountain range and I believe I did not want to put a heart summon harpies yet but if you get it if you guys didn't know if you do a three by three mountain slash rock range it will turn to a mountain peak and then every I think two or four days I don't remember exactly you will summon a harpy I believe it was four days or something so summon a harpy onto the field randomly, and that could get annoying, especially in the beginning. But if you do also get 10 rocks and mountain, you do summon a goblin camp, and those are also pretty presky. Most of the time, I usually do oblivion it, but um, this is my second time, I just left everything the way it is. Uh, I do believe that I s save oblivion for later. I try to branch out my tiles that can summon monsters away from each other so I don't get bombarded with enemies all at once kind of so I'm just gonna chime in whenever right um when I want to say something when I'm reading this I'm actually because since I'm reacting to this as well but I did try to aim for a higher DPS in terms of weapon Trying to remember my dot process and all this, but yeah, you notice I was branching out on the mountain range over there. Yeah, it would have been better if I used those metals on the top left and put them on a treasury down below. But yeah, you notice the goblin camp is there now. One one thing I I noticed, yeah. If you notice here that I I didn't fight goblins the first time. This is the first time ever. Uh, if, uh, one thing I do want to say is that if you want to like get the loot right away and you want to put down a tile, you want to just if you want to, you can put it right in front of you and you can collect the loot. So there's no monsters in there. If you walk by uh, empty tile, right, you can get whatever resources that it produces. And here, if you have the blood grove. It can only be placed by a regular grove. Uh, if you somehow destroy the grove while the blood grove isn't there, it becomes a hungry grove. And it will occasionally damage the, the hero when you walk by it. <laughs> okay, so when I was playing this, I thought... I, I wanted to summon flesh, flesh golems. Because um, I countered them the first time I played through. They hit pretty hard, but they do drop a lot of orange or whatever legendary, whatever it's called, type of equipment. So I thought maybe I can summon it by putting two of these next to it, because that's what I had. But apparently, um, it, you need the blood grove and then the flesh golem will spawn. They apparently spawn from the blood groves. I noticed that later on when I clear chapter 2. <laughs> it took me so long though. Uh, I'll probably have another video of it if this video does okay. But I finally got some decent artifacts. I mean rings and uh, shield. It's nice how everything had their own lore to it, in a way. Like I just remember, they just like, oh I remember myself. But now I'm finally using the treasury on the left, bottom left. Yeah, so I pretty much, I, I don't know, I, I kind of try to aim for... A lot of defense and counter and stuff, because I enjoy counter and stuff in other games. Um, 
I do apologize that my camera is actually blocking chat. I did move that to the left side. Um, yeah, I did move that to the left side on future playthroughs-ish. Like the next day I played it for chapter 2. But now I'm curious what the heck do I have. I think that 8% is the invasion. Oh, I could be wrong. It could be 18 for all I know. But yeah, I finally got that mountain peak. It'll transform, it'll tell you. Dude, those goblins are annoying. They hit so fast. Ooh, that, yeah, I did get a nice weapon there. That was super nice. Get some attack speed as well. Alright, we're trying to separate them as much as we can. So we can get bombarded. And I, I just put down mountains every time I see them. Dude, I've got a better armor. Apparently, if you put the beacon next to uh, metals, they or when metals are next to buildings, if you guys didn't know, it'll turn to a blooming metal, which will give you three HP per day instead of two HP. And you can also put be I, I like to put beacons now um, near treasuries as well, because you get a bonus of I think whatever stone or rock that it gives. I wasn't paying attention to the exact resource. <laughs> Oh man, that 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 goblin camp in the middle of the those metals. Oh, but I got I got some decent equipment, so I'm just placing down stuff to make things a little harder. See, we got a freaking seven or level seven uh, orange ring, and that and that was that ring was too good. <laughs> That ring itself was too good. It didn't. I don't think it got replaced for the longest time during this run. So I think maybe this ring kind of carried what I had. Blood, blooding, blood, blood or not blood? Battlefields are pretty nice. They spawn uh, chests and stuff. Oh man, that you see that fourth goblin that's gonna come out right there. <laughs> oh god, four goblins are so annoying to fight. I put so many monsters on the field. I think it's cause I have uh a lot of deep I have a decent amount of defense and I was I have vampirism so I was just life leeching everything <laughs> if only that strategy came sooner and I could put it like right here or like right here then if I put a metal or whatever in between them I'll get double or quadruple pretty much now we just summon gargoyles so this is empty treasury I want to see the ring again I did get a 6. Um, I don't think I've seen that yet. Okay. Looking at it right now. Went for DPS. See, that thing is too good. Vampirism, regen, defense. Oh my god. That was too good for first playthrough. Or for a chapter 1 playthrough. As you get harder chapters, um, the monster actually get extra things. Like slimes will get like thick slime. I don't want to spoil too much what it does, but they get extra things. I think now I'm just like, I'm like, I got a decent weapon and I'm wrecking stuff. So let's, uh, let's just go ham. <laughs> just putting down tiles. Whenever I get them. Ooh, they're doing decent amount of damage now, especially for skeletons. 
Yeah, I went for more vampirism, so I was able to life leech more. I think I held on to that, that. I didn't want to make it too hard. The skeletons were pretty uh, annoying. <laughs> they do a decent amount of damage if they level up. Dude, and I was like, Flesh Golem, what is that? <laughs> somehow, somehow, um, it didn't do over 100 like my other playthroughs, but. They dropped some. That. That looks pretty good. <laughs> I lose that invasion, but I get the counter. So I went more of a counter build than this. Look at that, look at all the counters. <laughs> they just kill so fast. I went for DPS and counter. I believe counter, you still get hit, but you do damage back. While invade, you just completely just dodge everything. I believe that's what it is. It seems like I still have to get hit. I haven't looked too closely. But I just, that's just what I believe in. Dude, I have so many tiles on here. Surprisingly, I'm doing well. These orange equipment that I have, they're, they're pretty nice. Oh, I, I, I actually got rid of a goblin camp because I, I started to find them annoying. Look at that sword. Oh my god, I got a sword. Come on, man. Go to the sword. And already I summoned that. The boss. And then apparently um, the building next to him power up the lich. So I did destroy as much as I can. Finish this round here. Um, I got a better sword. It gives counter and invasion. Um, I lose I Yeah, I lose more of the counter stuff, but we're okay. But I do damage to all, which is nice. If you notice I don't even have potions <laughs> on, the, on the top right side. Didn't even lock it yet. Oh yeah, I, apparently I have 12 damage to all. <laughs> so I hit 12 damage to everything. So all the mobs just get wrecked. Every second, which is extra nice. Is it every second or every attack? One of those. This gives more damage, speed, and attack speed. Um, I think I went for DPS. I'm not sure. It does seem better because I get DPS and attack speed, right? So we're like right here. We're almost getting our way there. We're getting damage though, so I'm not gonna be fighting it with full HP. And this goblin, oh my god, there's four of them. That that one's gonna hurt. So having attack speed um, with vampirism is pretty nice. See, if you notice, I was healing for like 13. And I was attacking super quick. Oh, but I got a better weapon? Hold on. What is that? Oh, I get more vampirism. Okay. I went for that. Now here for 18. <laughs> Yo, yeah. So for the warrior, I believe vampirism is pretty nice. With in with counter and invasion, no counter. Counter and vampirism. It's it's nice. It's a nice build. Because every time I hit them, I heal. And then if they hit me, and then I counter, I, I pretty much attacking again. Oh, but did I go for attack speed? I think I went for damage. Yeah, I did. I still have some vampirism. So it's fine. And I have the attack speed. I I think that was... That could have been the game changer. Since I got a 9. I got more DPS. Somehow, since I have a lot of monster tiles on a field, I was able to get a lot of orange equipment. I believe. But I'm not even... A, I'm like half HP right now. <laughs> oh, oh god. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, like, oh, damn, it's doing like a hundred damage. Oh, but I killed it. Oh. I think I got lucky there. Um, but yeah, that those last minute equipments as well, the la that last loop of upgrades, that, that helped decently. So that was a, a bit of good RNG. But this is my build. I believe is more of a like um, a vamp, a life leech kind of build. 
it allows me to be more sustainable, especially as um, I believe a warrior over time, you get more defense. Um, so you want to prioritize that as a warrior, like invasion, counter, defense, or main things. Fabricism just makes them last longer. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys beat this as well. Let me know what your progress is. I just beat chapter two uh, last night, which is technically day two. Uh, it took that that took a lot longer. I got a lot more buildings and I beat it with Necromancer. So I'll see you guys next time with that later days.